welcome back to another episode of this uh, authentication authorization series. If you are coming to this video for the first time, don't worry about it. Again, you can watch this video without watching other videos. But of course, if you want to understand the whole context of this tutorial, you need to come back and watch other videos as well. So the link will be somewhere there or there. Anyway, so, so far we managed to have login, um, error handling, logout, showing proper messages to user. And now it's time to start implementing the logout functionality. So far, our logout is like you go to home screen for those who are coming as a first time uh, visitor to this video. So we had uh, the logout uh, method where we could securely delete uh, the refresh token key that we stored in our secure storage. You can watch the video for that, you know, particular, uh, you know, logic we implemented uh, securing our tokens. And then we uh, changed the state of if, log if user is logged in or not to false. That's not actually a logout, isn't it, right? So if I go to profile and log out, of course it will redirect. But if I just sign in, click on this button, then it will immediately sign in again. I'm not logging out. In fact, tell, let me tell you this. Log out is a bit more complicated than what you expect. Because typically for log out, especially in these implementations, OAuth having third party vendors and you know also having federated uh, you know way of social media let's say and stuff like that you need to consider three layers of logout or sessions layer right so what are those layers let's talk about these three layers first first of all you, we will have application session uh, session layers Application session layer is where your application is like exactly the MJ Coffee app that we're building together. That's the first part. So far, we have managed to delete the token here. Another layer that you need to take into account in our implementation is, in fact, the OS server session layer. So in our case right now is OS zero session layer. So another one is then OS zero session layer. So then we need to tell to our OS server that the user triggered log out. You need to remove the session. You should not let them to log in again or refresh the token. And another layer then after that is identity provider session layer. What are those identity session layers? You remember when you click on uh, the, the app, it opens up and we have two Apple and Google. We have not talked about it yet. Videos are coming. Stay tuned. But those are the uh, other identity providers like federated uh, uh, providers, which you need to also tell them to log out. So now our log out is like, all right, log out, delete every session in the app or even in your backend, whatever you have, and then go to the server, like uh, OAuth server, in this case, OS zero, which we are implementing, like a server layer, session layer, tell that, sign out. And another one, like if I logged in with Google, I also need Google logging me out. But luckily, OAuth, uh, and in this case, OS zero is also taking care of that. So we don't need to worry about it. But this is the things that must be handled. Now let's go back to the code and see what we can do together to implement a logging out. So here is where we want to implement our logout. We already are doing that. And we don't want to actually do this until we successfully log out all the layers right now. So let's do this here. So one thing that I have to mention is when you are logging out, you need to have also a registered uh, URL after using his login out, then also user needs to redirect to that registered URL, right? We will get into that as well. However, here is the thing. 
In uh, OIDC authentication, Open ID Connect authentication request, in fact, there is one parameter called prompt. Well, where where is that? If you want to like uh, take into account, it's actually under let's say uh, auto. Okay, sorry, authorization request. So where we are getting every uh, all the requests together here is where you want to have this request. So in fact, here is where you can define uh, the prompt. But what is this prompt? Oh yeah, let's again come back to me and let me explain to you what is the prompt. As I told you then, one of the parameters in or uh, one of the you know parameters for open id connect standard is prompt prompt is technically defining like how user must be uh, prompted for consent or you know the reauthorization uh, flow so it has four values it's an array but you can pass four values you can say for example none none means well technically uh, do not uh, display any authentication, you know, or concept to user. Or you can say um, another one is login. That means regardless of any other session that user has, uh, always, uh, you know, show the consent and, you know, the login, uh, re-authentication, you know, process. And, and the, another one is um, also consent, which means like um, ask user, in a way that you know they need to see the consent and you know the application and before returning to the application and uh, and last one is also select account where it's uh, a little bit more uh, different it's useful where you know user have multiple account and you just want to you know uh, force them to select one of those but now Luckily, uh, Flutter um, App Auth plugin, which is implementing App Auth, you know, SDK. We talked about it in previous video. If you're coming to this video for the first time, please go and watch that. Um, is implementing this uh, or uh, has already implemented this parameters. Luckily, we can go back and implement that and force user to log in. There is another way that we will talk about it, but I think we'll in our application we'll keep prompt to login for sake of uh, brevity. So let's go back to the code. Now, if I go to the login method where I'm constructing my uh, request, what I can do, I can come back here and I can say prompt, prompt values, in fact, and what do I want to be here is log in. So then I can pass log in. I told you about log in. That means technically ignore any existing session and uh, require user to log in again. But that's good. So now if you're forcing user to log out, well, Next time they click on sign in, they will see the consent, uh, you know, or the flow and that uh, Auth0 is forcing them to somehow re-log in. So they ignore all the other sessions and then they force them to re-log in in all other, you know, uh, sessions. So that's that's good enough for us. So I'm going to just pass this prompt to log in. So go here. So let's go to log out. So that's one thing. Uh, go to log out. And another thing that we need to do is we need to make sure that we're deleting this uh, secure refresh token. So then on init, then also doesn't work. Uh, that's also very important because right now it is going to happen. So right now, if I actually refresh hot restart, you will not see home page anymore because user is logged in and they will immediately go to the home page uh, to the menu page like the authenticated page but do you remember in the previous video what we have done that's what i wanted to mention for those who have not watched other videos that's the reason you have to come back and watch is 
we implemented initial route. We said if it's user login, go to this instead of home page. And if you remember, we instead of calling init function on the constructor in home page, we're now calling that before even app is running. And then that's why when you're coming to application, immediately come to this page. It feels much um, natural and much better right now. So let's come back to our sign out. Now, in this case, I added the prompt value to log in. I also delete uh, my refresh token. There you go. And I also uh, sign uh, change the state of user from uh, sign in to sign out. Now what we can do, I can go to profile. And I now if I say sign out, I will definitely come back to home page. That's good. If I refresh because the refresh token is uh, it's it's actually deleted, then I do not go to the menu. However, previously, when I clicked on sign in, I was immediately logged in and I redirect without doing anything. But now it feels better because I said log out. So if I do this, I will forced to log in again and all the other sessions is invalidated by us zero automatically. That's one way of doing that. And another way is definitely the way that you can call log out uh, API in us zero. So you might have a log out, um, let's say, if you have your own OAuth uh, implementation, like OAuth server implementation, you might have a logout endpoint where you tell to this server that user said logout and server will take care of invalidating or removing all the sessions and therefore everything is fine. In fact, Auth0 has uh, such an endpoint. So that looks like, like uh, the domain that we defined and v2 api and that is going to be logged out what you need to do then you need to uh, construct uh, your request and send a get request and then everything should be fine you might ask right now then how does uh, look like you don't need to do it right now in your flutter application because you already uh, told uh, to the app auth sdk with prompt value login that is good enough but um, well, if you have like a, your OAuth server or, or you want to do it like manually, the, uh, I will paste uh, how it looks like the request. This is, uh, let me quickly walk you through to this. We're not going to do that right now, but just to give you an idea. So what you need to do, you need to create uh, the URL. That's the URI and your domain. So you remember that we already have. And that's the path, log out, client ID, federated or not. And also you need to make sure the return to URL is uh, registered. So in this case, you don't need to do that. This is mostly like for web applications. Um, you need to have that. Um, so and for now, I think what you need to do then here is just to send. This is important part. So the header, the authorization part, remember, it must have a bearer token. Well, that's actually the type that you receive uh, from Auth0. So you don't need to even say bearer. So you can just check the type uh, here. And that's the access token that we stored. So this is, this is the way that you usually construct your, you know, API. But what for our application, in mobile application, that's not necessary right now. So what you need to do here, you just need to delete this. And then let's review that. And then in the login, login method where you are sending the uh, OAuth or OpenID request, you just need to make sure, let's look at the login, you just need to make sure that you're passing prompt values as login, that is enforcing user to log in all the time when they click on that sign in button. There is one more thing that also you can do and you probably need to do in like um, other OAuth servers that you are using and probably if they don't have prompt value is you can go to log out, 
you can in fact in app auth uh, you know client that you created in this you have a function says end session and the end session if you look at this right now accept an end session request well then let's actually construct an a, a request here the end session request this is going to be an end session request fine then uh, there are a few properties that we need to pass here the first one is the id token hints well you already have the id token here well you are 100 percent sure at this point this is going to be available then you probably need to pass like uh i think it accept a yeah a string so you need to have like a to json and then you need to have a json encode and then pass this object so then in this case you're gonna get an, a string passing here nice another thing that you need to do is the issuer the issuer is our auth zero issuer that we already have and lastly you need to well that's optional but you can do that as well it's the post uh, log out redirect url and well in this case you need to register that register that in auth zero as well i mentioned that already uh, you need to go to the you know the client that you created and in the logout you need to have the uri and the uri looks like like your uh, bundler uh, the bundle id for the app you already have it in constant as yeah there we go the bundle identifier so you can have the bundle identifier and you can keep it like this so in this case then you're constructing um let's say an end session now you have the end session here and that is going to end the session in client uh, and server and the server so that's also a nice thing to do and that's a feature in fact you can wait for that let's format this a bit and that's also something that we should uh in many servers um, do that otherwise you can not uh, end any session all right thank you very much for uh, watching this episode until now uh, in the next uh, upcoming video so far we just implemented the most important part of you know this series uh, but then from now on we're going to talk about roles permissions we're going to talk about git um, auth zero action how you can manipulate your login flow retrieve roles get other things and also we're going to talk about how you can add apple and google uh, log in and maybe other social media twitter github and the rest to your uh, auth0 uh, server or uh, consent flow all right that's great so i'll see you in the next episode